Welcome to our Fed Talks executive video series. I'm here with Greg Clifton, General Manager, Defense and National Security at Intel. Uh, Greg, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks. Well, I appreciate it. So my first question for you is, where have you seen notable progress in federal agencies uh, improving customer experience and also service delivery, especially in light of the White House executive order on federal customer experience? Yeah, sure. And, and I'll answer it by saying that we've seen a lot of our federal customers, and with me being in the Department of Defense space, really leaning into mission modernization, mission transformation, not just am I going to modernize my IT environment, but how do I really affect the outcome to my users, you know, my operators that are out in the field processing the mission. And so they're leaning in. They're trying to understand insights. They're trying to understand how to connect technology to mission. How do I connect multiple technologies together um, so that I can change the way I do it. So what we're seeing is we're getting incremental transformation, which is great. We always want to get that incremental, get to the next next level of capability, but it's also giving us that leap ahead result that we all want, right? Where we're not just looking at the way we've always done it, but how do we go out there, take that insight, these new learnings, and combine multiple technologies, combine new processes, combine new ways of using data, implementing data, processing and analyzing data for mission results. So I'm seeing this across the Air Force, the Navy, the Army, as they look at things like joint all domain operations, joint all domain command and control. I'm seeing it in the intelligence community as they've got floods of data and they need to implement their data strategies, right? They've got the strategy, now how do I implement it, use it, impact it? And, and we're seeing great effect. We're seeing them use the cloud as a way to move fast, to be agile, to test out their ideas and shift on the fly if they have to without a large upfront investment. And then by the time they're ready to put that workload or that data into production, they've really optimized it and honed it for that best experience uh, for whoever it might be, whether that's a commander or an analyst or a warfighter or operator out in the field. Well, speaking of the cloud, where have you seen cloud services making the biggest impact in uh, helping federal agencies make faster or maybe more valuable use of their data? Well, we've seen it across the federal government. Obviously, we saw um, the ability to move quickly as COVID started, working with CDC and getting information in the cloud and then information out to citizens. Uh, we've seen it within the VA for work trying to help um, suicide prevention for veterans. Uh, we have seen it across the Department of Defense uh, where, again, they're able to leverage really cloud at the edge. I think that's where we're gonna see uh, the cloud model, the ability to deploy instances and capabilities and infrastructure quickly to be able to connect the enterprise out to the edge. And if we're going to process these missions of the now and the missions of the future, being able to bring compute and network to the data is gonna be critical. And that's gonna be a combination of cloud deployment and some traditional IT and on-platform type of operational technology, uh, but we're seeing it everywhere, right? It, it's, and it's really gaining momentum and gaining steep speed, which is nice to see. Well, Greg Clifton, thank you so much for uh, stopping by and sharing some of your insights here on how the government is in fact modernizing with technology. Yeah, well, thank you, I appreciate it.